buddy. <sighs> what the heck? Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's Willie Weasel here, and today we got this 2019 YZ450F, and yes, you heard that right, it's a 2019 model. If you haven't seen the last video, we had uh, posted it, I think, last, what, Friday, I think, uh, we was talking about, is this bike better than a Honda? Today, we're going to ride it around and really go over the pros and cons of both the 450RX and the YZ450F. This is 10 times more mellow, the power is way more manageable, it is just, it feels better for the trails. So, without further ado, let's get into the video and see how this thing handles on these tight trails. All right, guys, we got the YZ out on the old trails. This isn't exactly like tight trails, but they're pretty tight in certain places. I can already tell you now that this thing handles 10 times better than that 450RX. It's so smooth, it's so mellow. I've got the power tuned down on the app uh, because this thing has like an app you can tune it. I've got it tuned down on the app, that way the power is like more usable, but it's still like got a lot of power. <sighs> what the heck oh we just had that impel us right under the arm <clears throat> all right guys if you can't tell we're off to a pretty bad start we're freaking getting impaled by that big branch right there i smacked my ribs right here right on that coming up that hill right under my armpit I was trying to get over, but I just kept spinning. Man, it's so grew up out in these places like this. Oh, and it sucks. I'm telling you guys, it really does suck. Bark busters really don't help. A few minutes later. All right, guys, over here's another little hill climb. It's not really little either. Look there. Oh Lord, let's hit this one too, even though we just got impaled in the ribs. We're gonna go with not much of a running go because this bike, like I say, lugs. And we're gonna go in second. We should be able to go up this hill, take like a left lane, go around that tree laying down in the road. Huh. Yes, sir. Also, I did bleed my front brakes. Got them fixed a little bit. So we have some front brakes now. We can hit some hill climbs if you can't tell. We'll be able to slow down going down. That's why I wouldn't hit them before. Because if you don't have front brakes on hill climbs, it's a little hard trying to slow down. A little rough. All right, boys, now time to head to the next hill. It's like just as steep as that one, but it's like a little longer. There's like different sections in it. Like some are a little steep, some aren't too steep. So uh, we're gonna go out here and hit it on this old YZ on the 450RX. Like it wasn't bad, but we were all over it in some places. Uh, we're gonna try to go up it and see how it is. Ooh, let's hit this hill climb right here real quick. There's another one right here. Let's hit this one first. That one. Yeah, we'll hit that one first. Let's turn her around right here. All right, guys, let's hit this little hill. Not too bad, but let's hit her. Having those bark busters suck, man. Trying to wiggle out of the way of all the trees and stuff. Oh, that's not fun. But she does pull pretty dang good. Whoa. Like I say, I feel like it lugs a lot better than the 450RX. It's like it's easier to throw around when you're lugging it. That 450, the RX, when you was lugging it, like it was uh, stiff, like it was really hard to maneuver. This one, when you're lugging it, you can throw it wherever. Even when you're going fast, you can throw it wherever. These have a lot more mellow suspension. That 450RX had an aggressive, stiff suspension, meant to be rode hard and fast. trail bike like i said earlier i said it's a trail bike i mean it's like a gncc xc bike meant to be rode on like stuff like this but really fast really hard not meant to be played around on lugged around on hit jumps and stuff like i do it's meant to like be rode the frig out of it this right here is too but like the chassis is so much more mellow i don't know how to explain it it's just so much more mellow all right folks here we are to that other hill climb it's right up here on the right you've probably seen it a hundred times if you've been on this channel not hardly a hundred times 
but right here she is. Ooh. This ain't the hill climb, this is like what leads up to the hill climb. I don't like about these motocross bikes is that rear tire is so skinny. Those uh, like off-road bikes, the rear tires are so much more wider. But see, look, we can't put our kickstand down here and look at the view like we have been. We got to get off and look around, or prop up against the old tree. The old YZ does look good though, if I have to say so myself. I think it looks better than the 450 RX. I'm a big Yamaha guy. I love the way Yamahas look. They they just look so good. There we go. We're back off the hill now, son. We're gonna go out and I guess ride some more trail out this way. mugs are here oh and all that kind of clay stuff the cost is spinning out learned my lesson before oh there's another hill climb over here i can keep forgetting about it i don't hit it much we're gonna go hit it though all right balls we'll turn on the old launch control or track control whatever this is all right, boys, we got the old trash control, launch control thing on. I don't know if it's launch control or trash control, whatever it is. All I know is it's going to help us hit this hill climb. Yes, sir. That's basically the hill right there. It's not too bad. It's not too shabby. Is it still on? Yeah, it's still on. What the heck? All right, boys, so let's coast back off the hill and uh, test our braking power on how steep this little thing is over here. It's not even little, I don't know why I call it a little thing. I know the rear brakes were just sliding, but add a little front brake to it. Look at there, sliding, add some front brake, stops. See, look, that's why I like talk about how I need a front brake to hit the hill climbs. It slows you down so much. Ooh, hit a rock. Woo I was spinning a lot more than I thought. <laughs> Yes, sir. All right, so guys, so far what I think about the YZ versus the 450RX on these kind of trails is the YZ way more smooth. The suspension's so much more mellow, more comfortable, easier to handle at low speeds, whereas the 450RX was like really aggressive and like touchy and twitchy at low ends like that. It's like, it was meant for an aggressive rider. These are meant that you can ride them around like more mellow, more mellow of a riding style, or maybe even make them more aggressive for an aggressive riding style. They're like really versatile, these YZs are. The throttle, very smooth. That 450RX, it was like blah, 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 freaking, you couldn't like ease on the throttle. It wanted to twitch everywhere. Like doing this on that 450RX, dang near impossible, it would go. Just everywhere. Those things are so touchy, so twitchy, they're not good at low RPM. The clutch on this thing, freaking smooth, butter. Brakes on this thing, solid. So in my opinion, overall, I like it better than the 450RX. It's just, it's more for my riding style, you know, a little bit more mellow, not as aggressive, more versatile. You can ride on the track, on the road, or on the off-road like this. On the trail, whatever. It's really balanced too. You can ride crazy wheelies on it. Which reminds me, I will do a how-to wheelie video, or not even like a how-to wheelie video, like a how-to ride longer wheelies or like how to shift gears on wheelies. 
because uh, it seems like you, a lot of you guys want to see that. It seems like a lot of you guys can pop wheelies or ride them pretty decent, but have struggle, like, or struggle riding them longer distances or getting the front tire up to that balance point, like, where you can coast it or just relax or whatever. We'll do a video on that talking about how to do that because the best thing to do, you know, is practice, practice, practice. And this bike's a heck of a lot easier to show you how to do that than that 450RX was. So you gotta get them back to balance point where you give them the least amount of throttle. That way you ain't gotta chase it. A lot of people chasing the wheelies. I'll show you guys how not to chase the wheelies in the next video, so stay tuned. We'll do a full on how to wheelie longer or how to shift gears on a wheelie tutorial. We'll do that, that'll be the next video and you guys uh, should get you know quite a bit of help from it. I ain't gonna lie. Right, us a little wheelie going up this little hill right here. You can tell where it takes like a lot less throttle input to keep it on the back tire. That's where you like to keep the bikes at when you're riding a wheelie. You don't want to chase them, you don't put a lot of effort into riding them. You just want to give them gas, get them right up to the balance. Give them the slightest amount of throttle. Quarter throttle, that's all you got to be doing. But if you guys and gals want to see that video, stay tuned, you know, until uh, hopefully, what is it, Monday will be when this video goes up. So stay tuned to either Wednesday or Friday. We will upload the how-to wheelie tutorial. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to drop a like on the video. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. You know, you subscribe if you like content like this. But this has been the Willy Weasel. Peace out.